Welcome everyone. My name is Daniel Bunce and I'm the children's pastor here at Bridgepoint Church. And we want to welcome you and thank you for joining us for our online Anchored VBS. We have a request though. We really miss seeing everyone in person and we really miss getting to interact with, with our kids. And we really want to see how you enjoy the VBS that we're putting on for you this week. So if you would, as you participate in the VBS, as you sing the songs, as you do the crafts, and as you listen to the Bible story, take some pictures, maybe even take some videos. And whenever you take those, please send them to us. We'd love to see how you're, how you're interacting with us on this VBS. If you'll send those or email them to me at daniel at bridgepoint.tv, we'd love to collect several, kind of put them in a, in a highlight video and be able to email it to our parents and just let everyone experience how everybody else is experiencing this online VBS. If you do that, we would greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much for, enjoy, for joining us again on this online VBS experience, and we hope you enjoy our program. My name is Pastor Daniel. And I'm Miss Amanda. And we want to welcome you to our Anchored VBS. Pastor Daniel, what is an anchor? An anchor is a heavy piece of metal that is attached to a heavy rope or chain that a ship uses. It holds the ship in one place. Sailors drop the anchor over the side of the ship and it rests on the bottom of the sea. That's why we're imagining what it would be like if we were down under the beautiful ocean. Fish fill the ocean. That's what makes it wonderful. If you could explore the undersea, what, what would you like to see the most? I think I would like to see the underwater plants and the fish. What would you like to see? Yeah, t turn to somebody near you and say, and tell them what you would like to see if you were under the ocean. During these two days at VBS, we'll all get to have an undersea adventure and you don't even have to get wet. Everything we do at Anchored will help us celebrate God's faithfulness. What do you think of when you hear the word faithful? People who are faithful are dependable. You can trust them. They do what they say they'll do. So let's sing Never Let Go of Me to celebrate God's faithfulness to us.
God's faithful love for us surrounds us and supports us. It's something we can hang on to, like an anchor. God even sent His Son, Jesus, to show us that love. Everything at Anchored will help us discover that God is faithful. So when you hear those words, God is faithful, I want you to pretend that you're holding on to a rope and yell, trust God. Can you help me demonstrate yeah. that, Miss Amanda? Let's do that. All right. So when you hear the word, God is faithful. Trust God. Awesome. One more time. God is faithful. Trust God. We trust God to hold tight to God's faithfulness. It's like an anchor for us. So let's practice that just a couple more times. God is faithful. Trust God. God is faithful. Trust God. Who are some faithful people in your life? Remember, we said that faithful means dependable or trustworthy. People who do what they say they're going to do. I think of people like my parents or some teachers or really close friends that I have, other family. Look around to someone near you and tell them who you think is faithful in your life. Well, look at that. God showed His faithfulness right there by giving us people like parents, friends, teachers, and neighbors to trust and care about. Wow! Now we're going to learn our memory verse for Anchored VBS. It's found in 1 Chronicles 16.34, and Pastor Daniel is going to show you the motions that can help you to memorize this verse. So it goes like this. Give thanks to the Lord... For He is good, His faithful love endures forever. So let's do that again. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His faithful love endures forever. Let's do that one more time, a little bit faster. Are you ready? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His faithful love endures forever. Great job, everybody. I'm so thankful that God loves us. He is on our side even when things seem against you. Let's sing about that now.
Thanks for joining us on our opening for our VBS. We've got a lot more in store for you. So right now, we're going to be taking you to our Bible lesson. After that, you're going to do some amazing crafts, and then we're going to come back to kind of wrap up our first day here at Anchored VBS. So we can't wait to see you back in just a few minutes. I'm Miss Sarah and welcome to Anchor VBS. We are so excited you're here. Today I'm going to talk to you about our Bible story and I want to hear your name. So tell me what your name is because I think we might have some new friends with us. Nice to meet you. We are so excited about these two days together at Anchor VBS. Well, our theme today is that God is faithful. So every time I say God is faithful, I want to hear you say, trust God. So let's practice. God is faithful. Good job, friends. Trust God. God is faithful. Awesome. So today, our real true life Bible story is about a friend of Jesus named Paul. Can you say Paul? Paul. Awesome. Way to go. So what we need is for you to make a ship. So say to your mom and dad, mom and dad, can you help me make a ship right now? So all you need are two chairs and you can drape a blanket and you can stand behind it just like you can pretend you have a ship like me. All right, so we are talking about Paul and Paul was a friend of Jesus and he went around and telling everyone about Jesus. But some people didn't like that. They thought Paul was a liar. And so they said, Paul, you need to go see the king and you need to go have a trial. And so they put Paul on a ship and they were sending him to see the king. So the first day, things were going okay. The weather was pretty good. And so I think in your packets you have a little wave. So you can get your wave out. And let's pretend like the, the water was pretty good that day. It was pretty nice. So nice white light waves. Well, as the days went on, a big storm came and the waves got huge. So let's see your huge waves. This went on for 14 days, boys and girls, 14 days. So let's count the days together. One, let me see your big waves. Day two, still can't see the sun. Three, oh my gosh, Paul and the other people on that ship are scared. Day four, still rain, still no sun. Day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11, day 12, day 13 and day 14, 14 days of being very, very scared that their ship was going to sink. Can you imagine how scared they must have been? They were so scared, boys and girls, they forgot to eat. So on the 14th day, an angel came to Paul and the angel said, dude, you forgot to eat. You gotta eat. God is faithful, trust in God and he is going to make sure everything is okay. But you need to eat. So boys and girls, in your VBS packet, you have a snack. And so get out your Chex Mix because we're gonna have a little snack like Paul had so he could get some strength because he needed to eventually swim to shore. Now I miss singing with you so much. I know um, when we have Kid Point, we always sing our song before we have our snack. So let's go ahead and sing our little song. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our snack, for our snack, and our many blessings, and our many blessings. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's go ahead and have some of our snack. Okay, that was a delicious snack. So Paul was ready to swim to shore. The angel said, Paul, I know you're scared. The ship is going to sink, but you are going to be okay. So let's, friends, pretend we're swimming to shore. Maybe you're doing the doggy paddle. Maybe you're doing the backstroke. 
maybe you're doing freestyle or breaststroke, we are swimming in the shore. Awesome. So Paul is a good example for us because sometimes we have sad or scary things happen to us. Can you think of a time that something sad or scary happened to you? Let's hear an example. Those are good examples, boys and girls. My example is that sometimes right now, during this time where we have coronavirus, sometimes I'm sad or scared. Sometimes I'm sad because I can't see my friends or my family, and sometimes I'm scared because I don't want anybody I love to get sick. But you know what? We learn from our Bible story that God is faithful and that we need to trust in God. God's promise is to love us and to always be with us. All right, friends, so that's the end of our Bible story today, and we'll have a little prayer now, so let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for your promise to always be with us, and thank you for always keeping your promises. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends. Welcome to day one of Anchored VBS Seacraft for preschoolers. For day one, we're gonna make this cute little turtle. It looks like Sheldon. So we're gonna show you how to make that today. This is what you'll need to have ready for your preschooler. You'll need to have your sheets of glue dots, your green bowl, your turtle craft piece, some colorful markers, and you should be all set to go with that. So what we're gonna do is have the preschoolers to color. First, we're gonna color all of the different white spots on the turtle. And you can use a variety of colors. You can see on this one that we already have made how we've colored in the different um, spots. And it will be easier if it's colored now before it gets punched out. And preschoolers, you can use whatever color you want. Turtles have a lot of greens and browns and sometimes some oranges or reds but you can make it as creative as you want. Use whatever colors you want. So this is a time for, for you to just um, have some creativity, right? So while um, Emily is uh, coloring the spots on this turtle, I wanna share some fun turtle facts with you, sea turtle facts. So what do you think sea turtles eat? Do you know one thing that sea turtles eat? Did you know they eat jellyfish? I did not know that. That's amazing, jellyfish. So, another interesting fact, turtles that live on land can pull their legs and their arms and their head inside their shell for protection. But guess what? A sea turtle can't do that. It's different than regular turtles like that. So let's see, check in and see what colors Emily's doing. She's using some reds and yellows and oranges. Do you know how long sea turtles can hold their breath underwater? Take a guess. How long do you think they can hold their breath underwater? Five hours. Five hours they can stay underwater without coming up for air. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so now we're done um, coloring in all of the white spots and Emily has blown on it some to make sure that the marker is dry. And so now we're gonna carefully punch this out. Your preschooler may need help punching these pieces out. They don't tear too easily, um, but there's a lot of pieces, and so um, you may wanna do this for them if it's a younger preschooler, or if you feel that they're capable, then you know, let them uh, have the experience of doing it themselves. I will say it is helpful to keep um, the, the leftover piece after all the pieces are punched out to help you know which way the turtle's legs and um, feet go whenever um, you get it all apart. Sometimes it can be confusing to figure out which way to glue it on. Okay, now she's almost finished taking all the pieces out. So will you hold that up? So this is what you should take a, um, and put this to the side and keep handy to refer to. So now we get to put our turtle together and we're gonna start with the head, the legs, and the tail. 
So what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your bowl over like this. And parents, you're gonna to need to give your preschoolers a lot of help with this. These glue dots are um, very sticky. So you'll pull off the, the uh, white paper backing carefully and the glue dots will be on the clear side. And I wanna show you where to glue the, um, the turp, the legs and head to. So you're gonna to wanna to put the glue dots on the inside um, on the on this side of the turtle pieces on the green side and then that is going to get put on the inside of the bowl if you try to put it on the rim it's not going to stick very well and so you're going to want to put it on the inside and doing it this way also also helps the turtle to kind of sit elevated up off of the table I think it looks really cute like that so Emily is working on Oh, that's a neat little tip. You can put the piece onto the plastic. Careful that you only touch one glue dot and, um, and put the pieces in. So while she's working on that, let's do another fun sea turtle fact. Okay. So out of any turtle, do you think sea turtles eat the most plants or the least amount of plants? What do you think? The most or the least amount of plants? They eat the most plants out of any type of turtle. That's an interesting fact. I'm sure you're know that. <laughs> All right, we have the front legs and the head on. So now we're working on our back legs. Looks good. Oh, on the side. Yes, make sure you're putting the glue dots on the green side of the turtle pieces for the tail, head, and the legs. For the spots, of course, the glue dot's gonna go on the white side, the uncolored side. All right, so now we have all those pieces on and now you can assist your preschooler with putting the spots. You can follow the pattern on the turtle piece if you want or you can just let your preschooler have some creativity and put the spots wherever they want to um, on, the, on the turtle shell. Just a few more pieces to put on the shell, so I have one more fun sea turtle fact for you. Are you ready? How long do you think sea turtles live? Do you think they live 20 years, 50 years? A hundred years? What do you think? Tur sea turtles can live for about a hundred years. That's really old. I mean, think about how old you are now and how far it is to get all the way to a hundred. So you never know if you see a sea turtle, how old it could be. Sheldon is looking so cute. So our friend Sheldon the sea turtle trusts his faithful shell to keep him safe. It's what protects him when he's in the ocean or on the beach. We can trust God to keep us safe and always be with us because God is faithful. Great job, everyone. Thanks for, um, for doing your craft with us, and we'll see you again later. to Coral Reef Closing. We hope you've had a great time at your Bible uh, adventure and your sea crafts. And now we're going to wrap up our first day. I'm Pastor Daniel. I'm Miss Amanda. And each day we'll wrap up the adventures that we've had with the fun-filled celebration that God is faithful. Trust God. We can trust God to look out for us and be with us all the time. But that doesn't mean that hard things won't happen to us. When we say God is faithful, trust God. It means that we can trust Him when life gets hard. Let's try something, all right? We're imagining that we're under the water, but sometimes when we're, people travel on top of the water, they get seasick. Uh, I remember one time I got seasick when I went fishing with my dad. 
Motion sickness or seasickness happens when your ears and your eyes get confused and your body gets confused too. You might feel like uh, you're kind of sick, right? Yeah, like you might feel like a little icky on your stomach or you might get a headache and sometimes you just bleh. So let's try something. Miss Amanda, if you'll spin around three times, we're going to see how you feel after that. Okay, ready? Let's count. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh. So how do you feel? I feel a little dizzy and I might need to hold on to you because okay. I'm a little nauseous right now. <laughs> All right. You at home, why don't you, where you are, stand up, spin around three times so you can kind of the feeling that you would feel if you were motion sickness or seasick. All right, ready? Here we go. Everybody standing up. All right, let's spin. Ready? Spin one, spin two, spin three. Now, how do you feel? Call it out to us. Do you feel a little dizzy and icky on your stomach? <laughs> See, doctors and scientists have found a way to help overcome seasickness. What you have to do is you have to focus at a faraway point on the horizon. Now, the horizon is where the sky meets the ground, or in our case, the sea. And if you could focus on that, you can help get your focal point. And while things around you seem unstable, it helps to keep your eye on something that's true and unchanging. Makes me wonder. Sometimes life makes us feel like you felt when you spun around, a little icky and sad. And it's like, it, and, and that can be kind of a tough situation. Yeah, I know of a boy named Dominic who felt that way too. Let's see what Dominic discovered about God's faithfulness when he had a very hard thing to do. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. There was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm gonna break this board. It's an obstacle way, way and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid it wasn't gonna pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm gonna pass this and I didn't. I failed, and I failed, and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test, and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow, and I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything.
Jesus' power helps us do hard things. How did you see God's faithfulness in Dominic's life? What? As he was help, as he was working toward his karate belt, he he helped him and and helped him overcome his fears that he had. Why is God so faithful to us? When we feel worried or wobbly or uncertain or unstable, God is an anchor for us. The Bible tells us, "Give thanks to the Lord for He is good; His faithful love endures forever." God is faithful because He is loving and good. If you snorkel, swim, or scuba dive, you might see a bunch of bubbles going up. That's because we're not a fish. We breathe out carbon dioxide, and that air bubbles up in the water to the surface. Bubbles are really fun. You've probably done something like this on a summer day, or at a birthday party, or just for fun. But you know what? That got me to thinking about something. Are bubbles always round? Mm. How can you blow a bubble if it were not in a round shape? Maybe a shape like a butterfly or a, a bear or something. Now, do you think that this would be uh, round or do you think it would be in the shape that it's in? I don't know. You ready to Let's see? Let's see. All right, here we go. Wow, they're round. They're round. Let's try it again. Maybe I just didn't do it right the first time. There's a long and sciencey reason for bubbles being a sphere or a round ball. The short answer is that there's pressure between the air inside the bubble and the air outside. The air molecules inside the bubble all squish together really, really close so they can stay far away from the air on the outside of the bubble. And that makes it like a ball. Right. Faithfulness is something you can depend on. Someone who is faithful doesn't change. You can trust that person to do what he or she says to do, to be there for you and to love you. We trust God that God is faithful. Trust God. You might say that God's love will always be around. <laughs> around, I get that. Let's get sing and give thanks to our trustworthy God. We're gonna sing, We Can Trust Him. Great singing, everyone. Now, as we finish up today, let's, let's say a word of prayer. If you will pray with me. Father, we love you and we thank you so much for today. And we thank you that we've had this time on our VBS, God. 
And Lord, we have learned today that you are faithful and that we can trust and depend on you no matter what. We're so thankful that you're there for us, God. And we pray, dear God, that when we feel doubt and we feel like we may be alone, that we can know that you're always there for us and that you trust us and we can depend on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come back again tomorrow when we'll have some more fun as we do a great sea craft, learn a great Bible lesson in our deep sea Bible adventure, and sing some more great songs in our music and more and our coral reef closing. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow.